And that's where we start tonight with a fight brewing over a proposed wind farm. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brooke Lennington. And I'm Molly Pat. To break down the controversy tonight, KSN2 News reporter Dan Garrett joins us now live. Dan. Molly, Brooke, a group of neighbors in Marshall County are trying to bring attention to what they say is an eyesore for many. They're worried about a company trying to build more than 100 wind turbines like this one in their city. This group of Frankfurt neighbors are teaming up to bring attention to a company called Next Era, planning to install more than 100 wind turbines in town. Gayla Randall says they weren't informed the company was looking to build in the area and only found out through the talk of the town. We're considered a non-participating landowner. That means we don't have enough land to be considered. So we are not seen as people who need to have the information, even though we'll be impacted. Next Era says it has done plenty of communicating. The company is going to property owners and offering to pay to use their land to build wind turbines. Next Era claims they have support in the community and says the anti-wind activists are a small group. Over in Centralia, the company is already building the giant energy makers. Next Era says the project creates good jobs, millions in tax revenues, and provide landowners a higher return than any crop that can be grown on land. But that's not stopping some in town from making their voices heard. I mean, when you have this, and then you have 46-story wind turbines by your house, uh, that would make everybody a bit nervous. Those against the project are asking the county to block it, and the proposed project would be about 16 miles west of here. Live in Centralia, Dan Garrett, KSNT News. All right, thank you, Dan. And of course, we'll continue to keep track of the plans for that wind farm going forward, and we'll update you as we get more information.